Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Green. In today's video, we are going to analyze gold and silver market. We are going to use different tools to analyze the markets. Uh, traditional tools would include a study of uh, support and resistance. We would use a percentage study or Fibonacci study to see where the support is lying and where the reversals are happening. And uh, we would also look at important structural patterns, structural points where to see where important supports have been broken or they have their holding. And then we will also look at Elliott wave patterns. So today's analysis will include patterns and uh, percentage um, or Fibonacci analysis. First of all, we are going to look at uh, uh, gold. As you guys can see that we have completed a five wave structure on a monthly time frame. Uh, the thing that's right debatable right now is that either we have completed wave 2 or we are still in the process of wave 2. One major point is that if you consider this as wave 2 then this seems very short wave in terms of time spent. Traditionally what happens is that the correctional waves almost spend double the time of or even more as of impulse wave. At least they should theoretically spend as much time as the impulse wave. So if you look at the impulse wave it spent about 10-11 years to complete and then it does not simply make sense that wave 2 or a correctional wave just completed in a five in five years. That's the reason, that's the most important reason that we are using to say that there is a higher probability that wave 2 is yet not complete. In that case if you just consider this simple movement this will be a double zigzag, right? and if you consider that the correction is yet not over then this makes it just wave A of the correction this makes it wave B of the correction and if this is wave B then the larger uh, larger pattern that we are expecting is expanded flat so I'm right personally myself I'm expecting that we are right now seeing this is uh, the reversal in a gold market I believe that we have not completed the corrections yet and this is what the major uh, major time, major uh, major wave pattern that I'm considering and there are reasons for it behind it as well. I discussed in one of my previous videos that if you look at on a monthly time frame and you look at the momentum values and you look at on the RSI, RSI values they are both at extremely high places and these are the indicative of extremely overbought conditions. So that is the reason I'm expecting that gold will go further down. Uh, these are not of course the only reasons I'm also seeing some things. First of all, if you look at this price movement, the support is broken, right? Thank you thing is that people have been considering that this is a correction and what happened is that when price went up, the reversal was very strong right from the from the top. And this if you look at if you just think that the price have been falling down from the top, imagine that the correction uh, ended the wave B ended over here. And if you that put that in mind that this is wave 1, 2, 1 and 2 and then the reversal makes sense. Otherwise it does not make sense. Otherwise the reversal, the such a sharp reversal does not make sense. That the price went up sharply up after the correction. Let's say the correction ended over here. The price went up sharply up here. Then the reversal should be a slow reversal. And it's not the case clearly. So I'm assuming that this is wave 1 and this is wave 2. Wave 2 is truncated. I'm considering this as double zigzag. So single zigzag X double zigzag. I'm considering this as another wave, uh, impulsive wave. I'm considering this as wave A, wave B and wave C of the expanded flat. So a couple of my viewers were discussing about expanded flat and running flat. There is a point that we can discuss in the future. I do have that in mind and when we see that there we have some time in the video we will be able to discuss that of course. Uh, by the way, personally, I'm really grateful for all the um, positive critiques that you s you send or you write on the comment section. That's really appreciable and I appreciate more and more people to write it down, whatever they're thinking about, uh, especially as far as the analysis is concerned. So this makes it, uh, let's get back to the analysis. This makes it wave 1, 2, wave 1 and 2 and then right now we are expecting that wave 3 is ongoing and it's in the initial stages of wave 3 right now we are here. So on hourly chart what happened is that we have seen uh, quite strong price movement and I was considering I was able to call that the uh, uh, this uh, 
correction pattern that actually started right from here. We are considering that as expanded flat wave A. Sorry, wave A ended right over here. Then this is single zigzag correction, double zigzag. This is wave B and a five wave structure ended right over here. Right now we can see, as the good news is that the price has fallen below the uh, the support angle that was the support channel that was covering this whole price movement. Not only the price has fallen below the channel, but we are also seeing the reversal that the support is coming back in as well. Let's see 15 minute chart. There's a possibility that prices may go up and test this area and then fall back and there's another possibility that the price will continue. The largest the important thing is that prices have fallen below the ch channel that was supporting wave C of the flat correction and right now this is approximately the area good point to enter the trade that's I believe so so in one more thing that I was saying earlier is that I don't believe simply that we are going to see just one uh, expanded flat and that is I don't believe simply that because we have wave 1, wave 2 we will start seeing wave, wave 3, wave 4, wave 5 there is definitely going to be strong price movement when price moves away and I'll give you a reason why but I'm still expecting this is wave 1, wave 2, another wave 1 stronger. It could be stronger movement. Just because it's wave 1 does not mean that it's not going to be a stronger movement. And the reason I'm saying it's going to be stronger movement. Alright. First of all, let's get back. So this is wave 1 I'm saying. Wave 2. Another wave 1. Another wave 2. Wave 3. Wave 4. Wave 5. Another wave 4. And then a larger price movement downward. Wave 5. That will complete the movement starting from this top. And uh, let's get back to the reason why I think that the price movement downward would be swift and a larger movement, probably just like at this one, right? So we're going to see a larger movement and I'm going to give you the reason for that. Personally, lots of people do use Fibonacci analysis. They use uh, Fibonacci price levels. I personally use percentage levels and these are the levels that were used by uh, William Delbert Gann. He was the first person who introduced them first and I, I personally love to use them. One other thing point to be noted is that when it comes to expanded flat, I do like to include that price movement uh, within the mm, within the total price drop because it is the price movement. In traditional Fibonacci analysis, they do not include this price movement. So what happens if you see the total price from the top to bottom and the price jumped up? So we are seeing a reversal right around 50%. That's a very good percentage. That's a very good signal to indicate that the downfall or the bears are in pretty much good control. So that's the reason because if price won't have gone up quite deeper, you can say that the downward price movement would not be sharp. But this is an indication that Kim telling us that if this is if 50% is the reversal place and we can see that it is the reversal place, it looks like that at least, then the downward price movement is very strong. I want to indicate one thing very important here is right now that personally I have uh, seen in my own analysis that just going one level deeper in wave analysis and considering that point as um, invalid point is a better opportunity instead of taking the existing uh, price level. So what I'm saying is that if I was trading and this is I'm giving an example if I was to trade this price movement I would not put my stop loss right over here reason because there's a possibility that it could be something else apart from a flat correction but I'm sure about it that we have broken this very important support as well so I'm sure that we have this point is very important so I would put, take this point into consideration rather than this point into consideration it's your choice personally but personally I have seen and I experienced it too, so many times that it's very hard to analyze the existing small hourly chart pattern that's what I that's what I mean that we are have to look at a larger time frame analysis and the larger time frame analysis tells us that the top exists right over here 1950 let's say 1960 right so we can consider this as very interesting point instead of considering this as a point however when since prices have broken below this definitely adds into our uh, confidence that prices have broken below the support channel and they have also retested the channel as well so uh, your personal choice is another safe opportunity would be that the peop some people would wait for the price to come down and make a big break through the bottom right over here giving an indication that this price movement can be used but again be really careful please so this brings us to that point another thing is that we are going to use an interesting uh, methodology it was developed by William Delbert Gann into analyzing silver market 
and those those mark uh, analysis is called uh, angles so I'm going to use WD angles to present point today and that's very interesting first have a look at the larger price movement into silver I do believe that we have it's, it's pretty visible that we have completed a five structure right from the bottom going on into early 1995 I believe it was yeah, I don't happen to have the data from that end but I believe it started around 1995 or somewhere 1998 a 5F structure and here we completed a 5F structure the price went up sharp, sharply down there are two possibilities that we have completed the uh, correction right over here right so the correction that actually started right from here is complete right over here if that is the case then we have completed a 5F structure from this bottom to this bottom the blue count so that you guys can see this is our alter can count so this is a five wave structure I believe we have completed at the top right over here and if that is a five wave structure we are going to see price movement it's going to be deep because we are remember we are preparing for next cycle wave pattern next 10 to 12 years or even six to eight years of price movement in silver so we got to have a quite deep quite stronger base to do that and for that I do believe that prices are going to come deep and they're going to spend a bit of time in wave two so that's why I'm expecting. If this is wave one, then we are expecting prices to come down too. Let's assume that if prices have not completed the cycle below down that, then we can consider that the part of the correction completed right over here. This is wave A of the expanded flat. This is wave B of the expanded flat, and you can consider this as wave C of the expanded flat. This is the second count. That would mean if this is the correction, that would mean that we will create a new low somewhere over here, right? So please keep that in mind. That will be W, this is X, and this is Y. But our both counts are indicating that price movement is going downward. Now let's have a look at uh, if some of you have actually missed the triangle. Uh, we discussed there was a triangle that we saw early on. So if you're looking for that, I believe that we consider this as movement as wave A. This is wave B. Uh, give me a moment. How it was? Yeah, this is wave A. Sorry. That's wave A. And that's wave B, that's is wave C, this is wave D, that's wave E. Or this is wave D and this is wave E, and this is a five, five wave structure. So, for some reason, my software keeps deleting my lines and I have to draw them time and again. So, we can use this as a triangle, okay? If you're wondering what the triangle is, where exactly the triangle is and in that case the five wave structure the wave five is truncated let me draw it in a different color so you can clearly see it mm, let's use blue color okay that makes it a bit better a bit more visible let's turn that into blue too So, in either case, we can see that we have the completion of the 5 wave structure right from the top. The correction started right from the top, and we are assuming that we are going to go down. Now, what happened is that I have drawn GAN angles, and um, MT5 has improved better. It used to be pretty bad on MT4, but they have improved it, and now you can see that the angle does not change the... If you try to zoom in and zoom out, it does not change. There's still a lot of change, a lot of change required, but it's still much better than the before. So let me show you some of the, the settings for this, if you can want to draw. It is a downward. So if init initially, if you draw, it will be upward. So you have to check that to draw a downward uh, GAN angle. Second point is that it's 100 pips per bar. So since we are drawing it on a daily bar, that's where I initially drew, you can look at it, a daily GAN fan. So you please draw it on the daily GAN fan, start from right at the top, and 100 pips per bar, or 100 pips per day, and put it as downtrend. If you do all that, you'll be able to replace what I've done right over here, okay? What I wanted to display right over here is that if we assume that price started falling from the top on 100 pips per day average, then the angles or different rates of the uh, downfall are as below. Interesting point is here is that if you look at this angle, right, starting from this top, price came along, this price is actually 
this angle provided the support for the downfall and then prices went back again look what happened again Pri when prices went up they checked this angle again so you can say that the resistance what was supposed to be the support for downward movement and was supposed to be resistance for the upward movement has become support right now and the prices went up and you can see the price went up and it reflected pretty good it found a support went up back again <coughs> interesting point is here is that the fall of the price movement the, when the prices fall from the top we can see that it double tapped the same angle interesting point is normally the traditional analysis would say the prices went up straight away not the case in that case you, prices did jump up and it's a very good sign that it found a support right next angle not only on the next angle it's also finding support on the horizontal level as well so that's pretty good sign that we are finding the um, the clues from the market that the, it was a major support price went up and it found a support again as well so this tells us that this is pretty crucial level and when prices falls back below that will be an indication that it has broken a ma major support if we just take those angles away we won't be able to see this whole uh, game of support and resistance so that's why I like using WD GAN angles time to time sometimes I use it without um, showing it and sometimes I just put it in front of you guys so if, if anywhere you want to use it that's the let's have a look at the, the, the structural strength right so one we can use the um, the percentage once again I'm using the percentage dropout these are you can go ahead and repeat what I'm doing is here as well simply draw the Fibonacci tool price level tool and make the changes uh, you can draw the changes let me give you an example if anyone you want to replace that again so you can go to levels and you delete all the levels that you have there before one by one using this delete button so you select and delete and when you deleted them you add new levels into it right so 0 is 0 0.0 0, 0 0.25 is 25 percent 0 0.375 is 37.5 percent and you get the point I have divided I have put eight values of at an equal distance so you get you get the point so what has happened first of all you guys can see that when the price initially jumped over and that was wave 5 of truncated wave it, f it did found a support right over here at 7 by 8 of the mm, of the drop actually and then once again when price jumped back below again it found a second support as well here alright one interesting thing is that when prices came back ago below then again it found resistance at the same level too over again it fell below it found resistance at the same level again too so that's pretty neat you can see different points set over here one over here one over here one again right over here right and it found a support right over here and then we can see that it found a support at 25 percent so that's why I would like to use support angles the important point right here I wanted to present is that we have seen this as expanded flat wave A wave B wave C and it, it ended right at 75 percent right so that gives us good clue that we have seen lower low in terms of support one is right over here 87.5 and then other one is right over here 75 percent now I want to look at this price movement and see where how where exactly we are right now here you guys can see that the price actually went above 50 percent right over here this was 50 percent so this was pretty deep price movement in that case we can see that it's going to take some time for the prices to fall right and it's not going to be a major fall so let's assume this price movement right now on four hourly chart we can see this price movement and I'm going to include top to bottom price movement right over here and I want to see where are we right now so behold right now the prices are jumped uh, from 25 50 percent and we have found the support back again at 25 percent and prices went up again it found the support back again so this is the resistance story and this is the support I believe that we are looking at it because I wanted to make a point right over here and the point is here is that often when the support the uh, angular support gets broken price goes up and it touches that level back again so the resistance becomes support the resistance which was supposed to be the resistance for downward trend actually becomes support for the downward trend and it does not have to happen all the times 
because we do have different sports ideas as well right so there is the possibility there is the possibility that we, since we have already seen the support right over here we will start seeing falling down this makes it wave A, wave B and wave C and I wanted to repeat the same behavior here as well this is the expanded flat again remember this is wave A, this is wave B and this is wave C the traditional analysis they say is traditionally does not happen all the time that if it jumps up and retests the support that's a good signal right but we are seeing that when prices came down and jumped up it actually covering the 50 percent already so that's also a signal if you want to use that that's really helpful in my trading at least let's have a look at Elliott pay patterns what we are expecting in terms of Elliott wave analysis if this is the wave 1 ended right over here we're expecting wave A wave B and then this is wave C it's gonna be deep so are we expecting a zigzag pattern I'm considering this has wave A a 5 wave structure a 3 wave structure and a 5 wave structure and a deeper one so I'm considering this as wave somewhere over here 1 2 or even a smaller subsection a smaller wave 1 of 1 so be, but the point here is that we are still looking we have a lot of room for prices to fall the 50 percent support level is giving us a good indication that we are uh, looking strong in terms of bears and if you want to use once again if you want to want to use the WD GAN angles then it's a nice improvement they have done so you simply go into the insert section go into the object section here it is GAN and then choose GAN fan you can find a top from right over here so you can traditionally see that it's coming down but when you draw it first time it will be going upwards so all you got to do to change that is right click go to the properties and then you go into parameters and you have to click that to make it downtrend if this one is not checked let's say that will be an uptrend this is why you would normally see right so you have to right click it go to the properties and tell it that it's a downtrend and you have to uh, show that's 100 pips per day all right once you do that it's a pretty nice observation that we have done by the way the if you are considering uh, where, where did the 100 pips a day came from I don't know how again was found you f was able to find it but with myself I personally uh, tried it different number 500 pips a day and I did not like the angles and then I tried at uh, 250 I did not like the angles at 100 pips a day I have found a very good uh, support uh, from angles and that's telling me that we can use this as long as uh, the correction is not over so that's a good helping hand thank you so much today video got a little longer uh, apologies for that if you're visiting my website my my channel I really appreciate that you can subscribe lots of people subscribe are unsubscribers um, push a thumbs up if you like it if you don't like it push thumbs down really it's, it's analysis it's not a forecast we are trying to do an analysis using different tools to see where price is heading and please comment if you like it have a nice weekend see you guys in the next while have a good one and bye bye